Okay, questions for Coach. Hey, you guys get a two-day break until Thursday. How's, mm -hmm. How'd they look? Going Good. Into that? Uh, we had a real physical day today. We tr treat it like a Wednesday, so situational football, and then we were able to get the Devo guys some live reps, so that was good. Heard on this the last play here, the quarterback was live, but Robbie still made the play. Yeah, it was, you know, a lot of times the quarterback, even when we go live, the quarterbacks will be tagged, and we had a two-point play for a half gasser, offense versus defense, and the offense ran a little play action, and Robbie threw it to Nick Alton in the corner of the end zone for the win, so. How nice is play. Alton developing as a tight end? I think he's getting there, he's just, he's got a ways to go. You had mentioned a couple of days ago you might announce players wouldn't be participating in the game. Yeah. Is this today? Yeah, so uh, Ashton Davis um, will be out. I think you guys know that. And then there's a group of players uh, who will not be with us at the bowl game for one reason or another. Uh, Isaiah Humphreys, Miles Jernigan, Jalen Martin, Miles Williams, Curly Young, uh, Jordan Duncan, Tevin Paul, and Trey Turner. So those guys won't be with us at the bowl game. They're members of our program. Uh, but they're missing for different reasons. But not by injury. Okay. They're missing for different reasons, yeah. Right, <laughs> Throw for that a was it. Right now. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> that was it. That was I didn't expect some of those guys to be on that list. Uh, but I guess Daniel Scott's going to be one of the beneficiaries of that and getting more time. How's he looking? He's doing, he's doing well. Daniel played more and more throughout the season. He was banged up a little early in the year and then made some plays on special teams and earned some more reps on defense. He's uh, he's done a nice job. I think another guy that you can see in there is Elijah Hicks mm -hmm. playing some safety and that's, he's done really well training in that role and being a uh, swing guy for us. So we've talked about that even a year ago with him. So, yeah. Anybody else who figures the benefit playing time as a result of the well, it'd be the ones, you know, the outside backers, the receivers. So, fortunately, a lot of guys have gotten reps this year in all those positions. Safety, outside linebacker, receiver, so. It's like Ben Hawk Schreiner and mm -hmm. the likes of that. How, yeah. how has he progressed throughout the year? I think Hawk has been solid. You know, when he came in here uh, in summer, joined the team, earned a scholarship, and he has a role for us, and it's a valuable role. He plays really hard. He is a eager uh, learner, and yeah, he's yeah. been a, a great addition to our team on the field and off the field as well. I know you have high expectations for everybody to bring in, but did he exceed your expectations a little bit? Ben? Yeah. Um, you know, we thought he could help us, and until you get here and you're able to work with him, it's hard to tell sometimes. Physically, he's about what we thought he would be. I think uh, leadership-wise and toughness and the work ethic has really been evident with him. He's, uh, again, been a guy that's filled a role for us and owned that role and is a great teammate, works really hard, and, and really appreciates being here. He figures to get more playing time than there is. Uh, yeah, potentially. And depending on what we're doing defensively, packages, and who, who's in the game for them, and down and distance, all that stuff will play into it. Did you see some of the younger guys at outside this linebacker getting right? some time, like an Oren Patu uh, Potentially Braxton, Oren. Uh, there's a few different guys that we could rotate through there. Uh, we, you know, Zionde and some of our packages can play out on the edge. Uh, so it'll just depend on what they're doing, how we're playing, packages we're in, all that. Do you expect Tatterfall to play? He's cleared to play, and he's practiced and preparing to play. Mm -hmm. We've talked to Bo and Tim about uh, Illinois. What have you seen from Illinois that sticks out on tape? Just. Uh, <clears throat> Well-coached team. I think they play together in all phases, offense, defense, and special teams. They're disciplined. Uh, they take the ball away on defense. They've done a good job of taking care of the ball on offense. You can just tell uh, they know what they're doing, and they play really hard. And, uh, the development of their team in the last three years has been uh, obvious. So. Did you take any particular notice of what they did against Wisconsin to have success? Uh, they played really well, and Wisconsin's a really good team, and I know those guys well and know what kind of players they have. So for them to to uh, make the plays that they made in, against that type of team and those type of players is impressive. Anybody else? Okay. Good. All right.
Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a great holiday. Okay. Happy holidays.